Hey, Joe here with S3 Archery, and we have a product review for you today. Today we are rocking the HideHandler.com medium hill style back quiver. Also comes with the optional three piece harness. Um, it's a little loose right now, but we can change that later. But that helps it keep it in a consistent spot. So just wanted to show you today the quality of it, the design of it, simplicity of it. So uh, starting off with a back quiver, always can you reach the arrows. With this one, like I said, with the three-piece harness and whatnot, real easy, depending on the size of your arms, they come right out. You can shoot, put them in back in, just grab the middle of the arrow, put them on in there. As far as design, we'll have Dan zoom in there. We have a nice two-tone leather um, on the top up there, and then, as usual, as you see with our arm guards and everything, real thick leather. So I'll take off an arm guard, actually. Use the exact same leather, just the thickness of this leather. Uses amazingly thick leather and then with all of our stuff we have them always stamp on our name so jam swin there and then we got a cool jam swin on the back so obviously that's optional for yourself if you order this up as far as adjustments he actually puts this nice leather strapping on there you just loosen this up and you can adjust tightness across the chest and then on this side um, I forget what he called them but they're actually nice decorative button on one side but when you flip them over it's a screw so you just stick your finger in there, unscrew it, and then you can adjust it as tight as you want. If you are really doing it, you probably have it tighter like that. So just wanted to throw that out there, let you guys see it. Feel free to post anything if you have any questions, and we'll be happy to uh, answer them. As far as arrow quantity, we have about um, we have about uh, what do we got six arrows in there right now, and it probably could have another eight or so in there. So good to go. One thing I did forget is just how does it react when you actually pull an arrow back. I can tell you we've been stumping with it for a little bit and uh, it uh, actually is not disruptive at all. I was thinking it would be but we can do it here on film and just watch the quiver listen to it. It doesn't really react at all when you pull it back. So pretend that we're going to take a shot here. Do that again. Quiver doesn't even move. It's just, just not a concern at all. So if you're ever concerned about your back shoulder blade hitting the quiver or whatnot, you don't even know it's there. So just unbelievable. So like I said, that's the review right now. Post any comments or questions on our post um, underneath the video. We have to answer them. And uh, otherwise, like I said, Steve Katz, HideHandler.com. Great job.